All right, so today in the natural logarithmic function part two, we'll be focusing mainly on the graphs and the inverses of the natural log of x, okay, just as we work along. All right, so taking a look at the graph, y equals the natural log of x, okay, just something that's set up right here. All right, so this is the domain and range. Now, the domain is going to be anything greater than zero. Uh, the range is going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity because guess what? Sooner or later, we're going to get so big that this thing's going to go up forever. Okay, now its inverse is going to be y equals e to the x. Now you're probably wondering why is that the inverse? Well, first off, it fulfills the uh, rules of the lines of symmetry, the, the y equals x line of symmetry with it. But if you were actually able to find the inverse of it, you would have, first off, you would have, you would switch the x and y. Okay, so you would have x equals the natural log of y. Okay, and then to get that over, you would raise everything to the e power. So e to the x equals uh, e to the uh, natural log of y. Okay, and if you remember your rules for your uh, natural log, okay, e to the x is just e to the x, and then e to the natural log of any number is just that number, so this just turns into y. So that's actually the inverse function, and the cool thing is, is that they're both functions, they're one to one, they actually work out this way, okay? Now, log rules actually are pretty cool because they actually do have some use. I was just looking at it the other day. Uh, Whenever you see a, uh, a baby's uh, height being measured or weight or head circumference, they're actually based on a log scale, okay, which is just powers and everything. They grow slower as they get older. So it makes sense why it's a log scale right there. Okay, now exponential functions, they're based on an exponential growth. Okay, the number E is just an amazing number that just works out something so spectacular everything. It's, it's, it's almost as if we took E and we were able to do this formula y equals uh, let's say a times 1 plus r divided by n to the n. Okay, so it'd be as if I could actually take this function here let me get rid of these sliders Okay, that I just accidentally added. It would be as if I took this function and then raise n to infinity. And it's really an interesting proposition right there. And that's actually what e is. It's, it's this basically raised to infinity when you, when you increase n to a number as great as infinity. Okay? All right? But the cool thing is that you can use e to the x for exponential functions. They're just pretty simple, pretty straightforward type stuff. And they are inverses of each other. So that's why we can do cool little rules like this one right here to where e to the natural log of y is actually going to turn into that number, which actually explains a lot what we did last time, the last two times. Okay. Uh, the, your log exponents we'll talk about. I'm sorry, your law of exponents we'll talk about in a sec. Okay, so when you're multiplying, you add the exponents. When you're dividing, you subtract. When you're raising to a power, you multiply. Uh, when you're doing negative exponents, you're reciprocating. Okay, x to the anything to the zero power is one. Uh, if you're raising the power of a product to an n power, you raise everything inside to the power of n. Same thing with a fraction. Okay, uh, and then you're doing your rational root rules right here okay alright so please understand when you're working with your exponent laws that you pay attention to these rules just to be able to work it out okay and this is one of the more important ones is because you'll be able to do the power rule of differentiation or integration by paying attention to this one right here so please understand when you're dealing with stuff like this you're definitely going to need this bottom rule big time Okay. All right, that's it for the natural logarithmic function and uh, part two. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.